<sighs> Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, it's mid-July right now. There's not a lot going on in the sports world. And when there's not a lot of news, what you have is people that try to create news. You know, the recent stories out there right now are that the Dallas Cowboys are considering trading Ezekiel Elliott. That's a big rumor right now. And for me, this is personally really, really infuriating to see these headlines. Um, you know, it works on paper, right? The Ezekiel Elliott trade kind of makes sense on paper. He's had some off-the-field trouble in the past. He's now asking for a bigger contract. He's threatening to hold out. But I want to be very, very clear about this. Only an idiot would trade Ezekiel Elliott. If you trade Ezekiel Elliott, man, I don't know what the heck you're doing. Um, Ezekiel Elliott is the best all-around running back in the NFL. Most running backs in the NFL are interchangeable. Right? You're hearing this narrative that running backs don't matter. They're not very valuable. They don't throw the ball very much. I agree with you for the most part. Most running backs in the NFL are not special. They're fine. They're just guys. They're mostly interchangeable. But Ezekiel Elliott is not just a guy. He's a special talent. There's not a lot of Ezekiel Elliott's running around in America right now, really in the world. Find a guy like Ezekiel Elliott who can play running back at that level, and, and I'll move. I'll get to the side. Ezekiel Elliott is special. There's not a lot of guys like that. He can do it all. He can pass block. He can catch t passes. He can run through arm tackles. He can break tackles at the line of scrimmage. He can make people miss in open space. Ezekiel Elliott is not. He is not on the trading block. To suggest that is idiotic. I, I, if you follow this news at all, you probably can trace uh, what talking head in the sports media world created that rumor. It's just not true. It's a guy who has nothing to talk about and needs to make stuff up. People are bored. Talking head, sports journalist, whatever the word is. I hate the term journalist. It's not really, it's just not real anymore. People are bored in making stuff up. Ezekiel Elliott is not on the trade, trading block. And in fact, I think he's actually massively underpaid. He is the best running back in the entire NFL. He's the best. He's head and shoulders above everybody else. And guys like Todd Gurley, Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson are making significantly more money than him, even though he is significantly more talented than them. They're all bringing in around $14 million a year. In 2018, Sorry, excuse me, in 2019, this upcoming season, Ezekiel Elliott's base salary is $3.8 million with a $4 million signing bonus. That's about a half. That adds up to like almost $8 million. Yeah, the elite level running backs are making 14. So the dude carries the ball a ton. In 2016, he had 354 touches. In 2017, he had fewer because he only played 10 games because he had was suspended. Still had 268 touches. And last season... Ezekiel Elliott touched the ball 381 times. That's a lot of hits. And, and often people say that, you know, first of all, again, my point is that Ezekiel Elliott touches the ball a ton. He's vital to the Dallas Cowboys offense. But people say he's only good because of his offensive line, and that is simply not true. He has a good offensive line. I'm not saying he's not. He doesn't. But watch Ezekiel Elliott hurdle a defender against the Philadelphia Eagles and tell me that was his offensive line. It's not. He's explosive. He does stuff beyond what his offensive line can do for him. And he makes his offensive line better. He runs through arm tackles at the line of scrimmage. If you don't get a perfect block and you don't perfectly seal your defender and a guy gets an arm on Ezekiel Elliott, it doesn't matter because he runs right through it. He's powerful. He, is, he can win a race. He can make you miss in the open field. He can run you over. He can catch passes. He can pass block. Ezekiel Elliott, by far is the best running back in the NFL. And anybody considering trading him is idiotic. It's stupid. He's not on the trading block. It's a rumor people made up because they have nothing else to talk about. Man, I, I think you don't trade him. You pay Ezekiel Elliott and you give him the long-term contract that he is worth. Absolutely, 100% for sure. Ezekiel Elliott is 24 years old right now. At least he will be 24 years old probably by the time this video comes out because he turns... July 22nd is his birthday. So this upcoming season, he'll be 24 years old. He still has years left in his career. I'd give him a four-year contract worth $14 million a year. Fully guaranteed. And maybe, maybe if you make it fully guaranteed, he'll take less money that'll take less against the salary cap. I don't want to pay Ezekiel Elliott $18 million. He is worth, you know, based on market value, he is that much better than Todd Gurley and the other people making $14 million a year. But... 
I'm not comfortable paying a running back that much. But what I would do is say, hey, here's a four-year deal, $14 million a year, forty million, sorry, $14 million fully guaranteed every year, the entire contract fully guaranteed, and maybe it will, take, it will allow him to take less money and take a competitive price compared to other running backs in the NFL. You'll want to save yourself from cap room. But let me be very clear. Ezekiel Elliott helps the Dallas Cowboys win football games. Very few running backs make an impact on football games the same way Ezekiel Elliott does. He makes the offensive line look better. He catches passes. And he helps the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott. He really does. He pass blocks. But he also forces teams to put more defenders around the line of scrimmage to stop the Cowboys running game. This allows... Wide receivers have better matchups downfield and helps Dak Prescott. He helps the Cowboys to play action. The Cowboys are better for him. Absolutely. The Dallas Cowboys should not only keep Ezekiel, they should pay him what he's worth. Give him a four-year deal, $14 million a year. Give him a competitive price because he is far and away not only the best running back in the NFL, he's a big reason why the Dallas Cowboys have had a lot of success in recent years on offense and a big reason why Dak Prescott is currently a Dallas Cowboys starting quarterback. They are a tandem. They work together. They need both of them. And the Cowboys need Ezekiel Elliott. He has a lot of leverage. They should pay him and give him a long-term contract. 